Hello everyone. Welcome back to my page. I'm Avantika Kamli and today I'm going to show you how to make mini traffic lights. So you see it almost every single day when you're like going to buy groceries in your car or you know you're even walking on the street. So I hope you like it. Let's see how to make it. Alright everyone, so before we start anything with the connections, let's do a really really important part of this project. So, always remember that the long side of the LED spins should be on the right hand side of you and the short side should be on the left hand side of you. So, the long side is positive, short side is negative. Just gonna put that back. Okay. I have kept a uh, two distance, you can keep how much ever you want. So I am just making, you know, two, two traffic lights, two sets of traffic lights because it looks like there's not enough space on my small breadboard, but hopefully someday I will be able to make four of them. So now, since you know this, let us get started with the first connection. Alright everyone, so the first connection is that you want to take one of your mini wires right here and let's take this one, okay? And now what you want to do is the negative side of it, which is the left hand side. We're just going to take that from the back, alright? So one end of the wire will go there. I'll just show it to you nicely, yeah. And then the other end of the wire would go to the negative side of breadboard. Now you want to do this with all of the LEDs, so let us do that. Ooh, all right everyone, we are done over here, you can see it. This is so cool. Oops. Right. So, now you can see it is done, all of the negatives are connected. So we are officially done with the LEDs negative connection. Now we just have to do the positives. So now for the positive, you want to take your resistors in. So what you want to do is take one resistor, connect one end of it to the positive. There we go, right there, positive. You can see positive was the right side. And then the other end, you want to connect it to any row. I'm just connecting it to this one. And you want to do the same thing, like the exact same thing with all of the other LEDs, okay? So I'm just going to do that. Alright everyone, so now you can see I am done with putting the resistors to do all the positives. You can see it. Alright, now we are going to be starting connections with... The Arduino board. Hello, Mr. Arduino board. How are you doing? All right. So we're just gonna adjust the camera a little since the Arduino board's here. All right. Now let us get. I have actually gone color code wise. So you know I have two red LEDs. So I got two red wires. I have two green LEDs. So I got two green wires and two white LEDs. So I got two white wires. All right. So now let's go with this one. Let's take the red one first, okay? So now what you want to do is to the other end of this resistor, you want to put this wire and then this you want to put to let's say pin number 13. Just going to see there, make sure it's the correct pin. Okay, that's definitely pin number 13. There we go. Now, next what you want to do is like that only take the white wire because next is white LED then you put this to the other end and then you put it to pin number 12 then you take this green wire so there's a green LED put it to the other end of the resistor and then you put it to pin number 11 all right 
13, 12, 11. Okay, now we are going to be doing the LEDs, the other like LEDs. So let's take the red wire again. I'm gonna put the other end. Let's say I want the stupid number. Now we'll get a little gap because these two are different traffic lights, right? So let's take pin number three. We'll connect that to three. Then the white is here. We'll put it to the other end of the resistor, same way. Then that goes to pin number two. And then the last green should go to the other end of the resistor. And then that would go to the pin one. Now, guys, we are done with all of the LEDs connections. Oh my God, guys. Now we just have to code this thing and connect it with the battery. But before I go anywhere else, we forgot one main, main connection. So you want to take this black wire and here you want to connect it to, you know, the ground right there, ground of breadboard. Just going to connect it there. Make sure it's right there. And then we're going to connect that to the ground of Adina board. There we go. Okay, now we are done with the connections. I just need to code this and then I am done with it. So I'm so excited to see what the results are. I really want this to work. So let us code this and check it out. If you don't know what the code is, I have also put it in the description below. You just need to download Arduino from Arduino CC and then just upload this code. So let's code it. So now we are done with the coding. I also showed you a little glimpse of it, but now I'm so excited that let's just get on with the battery connection. So what you want to do is take the negative, which is the black wire of the battery and connect it to the negative of breadboard. There we go. Just like so. And then the positive you want to connect. Let's just connect it here. Okay. And then you want to take an extra wire and then you want to connect one end of it over here and the other end to the V in pin. Now, for good luck and if you want this to work from your side too, if you're doing it, make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Alright everyone, if you did it, this has to work. Three, two, one, go. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I cannot believe that this is working, look. Like, that is so cool. I think it's like the battery because maybe I haven't connected it properly. Yeah. You know, sometimes my battery just gets out, okay? Alright, now... Oh my god, this is actually working. Thank you so much for subscribing, guys. Like, this is just because of you it worked. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Anyways, again, if you guys like this video and definitely this project, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and turn on those post notifications so that whenever I post, you will never miss a single video. Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching again. Bye!